Hey guys, it's your pregnant single mom, Jessica. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make lunch for my toddler and myself while currently being 36 weeks pregnant. She's been driving me crazy. She acts like she's freaking starving and I've made her like three different breakfasts like this morning. I've given her fruit, freaking I gave her Lunchable, blueberries. She had mandarin, she had all these things and she's like over here like chewing her fingers like biting forks and shit like so i think like you're fucking like dying but relax it's not that serious so, so I'm, gonna, I'm about to make some rice so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make some rice and i'm gonna be making this food so i'm gonna be making this real good um sweet and sour chicken it looks good. It looks like kind of like Chick-fil-A kind of chicken breast. Like it's lightly breaded. White chicken meat and a tangy, tangy sweet and sour sauce. So I'm going to make this for me and my baby because I do not feel like cooking. That's a little jab. Alright, it says place chicken on a baking sheet. Oh, it says it's conventional oven. Can I put it in the air fryer? I'm going to put it in the air fryer. So I'm put it in the air fryer for, this is conventional oven, but y'all don't know. <laughs> I don't got time. So I'm going to do the air fryer. It says preheat 400 at 15 to 17. So I'm put it in the air fryer for 400 at 15 minutes. Let's see how that turns out. I'm going to go ahead and put these in now while I go ahead and start on my rice. This is the air fryer I used. Go Wise USA. It's okay. I've seen different air fryers. I don't know how to use the other ones. Oh, it definitely needs a much needed clean. Um, embarrassing. Anyways, it'll do. So I'm just going to put the... Let me, well, let me take it out one sec. Okay, so it's actually not that dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I've never seen a wrapper like this. I'm not about to break my teeth. Yeah, guys, I'm kind of like in an annoyed, feeling annoyed. It's like my baby's been like on that whiny shit all day. So I know she's hungry. Oh, this looks so nasty, y'all. Look at the chicken. It looks like it's dying. It does not look real good based off the brand. But anyways, let's give it a try before I talk shit. So when I do chicken like this, I like to pour it over the rack. Just to get that, just so like that excess breading can fall through. Because I like meats. I don't like breading. I need chicken in my mouth. I don't like all that extra breading and shit. Like I need to know every bite is a chicken. Piece of chicken. It's like all these little pieces of shit, but I throw it out. how it looks you see that's what came out so this is what I'm gonna put in the air fryer all right 400 what did I say 15 minutes yeah we'll put 15 all right let's start on the rice for the rice I'm going to be doing yes. I'm going to be doing three cups of rice. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse that. I'm a little anxious too because I'm like in the middle of potty training. Where are you going? So it's like my baby, when she poops, she'll like hide and shit. I'm trying to get her to not, I just took her a shower, so I'm trying to get her to not poop in her diaper, her pull-up. Rinse, rinse, rinse. So I'm like trying to keep an eye on her. Because the second I keep an eye off of her, she'll like just hide and then shit in her diaper. And pull up. And ain't nobody got time for that. Rice? Yeah. You gotta clean it. 
Wait, slow, no splashing, mix. Slow, mix. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Ay! Rinse, 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 rinse the rice. Rinse, 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 rinse the rice. I feel like raising a toddler is like being annoyed, but like acting like you're not annoyed. In some moments I'm not annoyed, but right now I'm annoyed. I'm gonna get on my nerves no time. Okay. And then it's like I gotta teach her how to do like simple shit like this. Like you don't know how to mix. Mix, 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 mix. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right. That's good. That's good. So for my water measurements, y'all, call me particular. So since I put three cups of water, I'm going to put three and a half cups of water of this. I got it. I got it. You want to pour it? Yeah. Slow. One. Two. Three. Ooh, three is good. Three is good, y'all. I'm not going to put more. Thank you, Maxi. High five. So now we're going to season this bad boy. Okay, Maxi wants to help. Can I just do shit myself? Okay, hold on. So I'm going to be adding some salt, oil, and some onion to the rice. <laughs> Look, guys, I organized my food. Bridge. It looks like we don't have much, but we have a lot of stuff actually. Oh, I have more frozen foods and like stuff. I went grocery shopping, so I put organized all that shit. It feels like I still don't have shit. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead and cut this onion. Wait, you need to wait for mama. Don't touch. Relax. Hold on. Stop touching stuff. Don't get me anxious. Don't touch it yet. Hold on. Stop putting your hands in there like that. You gotta respect the food. You don't just put your hands on the food like that. Alright, so we're just gonna put like that much onion. Let me rinse it. You wanna rinse the onion? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. You gotta stand right, Maxi. Hold on. Stand. So first I'm actually going to put the salt, there's how much salt I put, alright, okay. you ready to shake the salt? Yeah. Stand up baby, stand up, it's okay, you can stand on the chair, alright. Good salt. Okay. Mix with your finger, one finger. Slow. Alright, don't touch it for a second. Alright, you're gonna peel the onion. Yeah. Okay, you gotta peel it. Remember how you peel? One. Okay, put it in there. And then you peel. Peel the second one. Two, three. Okay, and you can just like stuff it in there. This is how it looks, guys. That's good. Alright, we're gonna bring it over here. 
clean the stove. Can Mama pour the oil? Yeah. You want to do it? Okay. Alright, pour the oil. Okay. I'm going to spread it. Spread. That's perfect. Okay, that's more than enough. Alright, so we're going to push it all the way to the back. And we're going to turn it on. Where's the lid at? Um, here's the lid. Mama's gonna turn on the stove, okay? You gotta be careful. So we're gonna put it on high and let that boil away. All right, baby, let's get down. Mm. All right, guys, so that's how I make my rice. So once this is starting to boil and like most of the water is gone, I'll turn it down to like a two. Give it a little mix and then just leave it there um, cooking. So I will show you guys how it looks once it's done cooking. Or once it gets to like that point where it's like the water is boiling away. Yeah guys, I'm having a little bit of mom guilt because I am like kind of annoyed. But I'm trying to not be annoyed with my baby because she is my baby. And I know that these moments are going, not going to last forever. And then she's gonna grow up one day and like know how to do this shit by like the back of her hand. So I'm just trying to think into the future. Like my baby is learning, and I gotta be patient with her. But that doesn't mean like I don't know. I'm human, so that doesn't mean I'm gonna be like, all right, baby, you're learning, okay? <laughs> you're learning, baby. All right, fuck up everything. I know. I know one thing you understand what to do. Uh oh, what fell? But yeah, it's just hard being a single mom because like I'm like her main attention giver besides her tablet. And it's like it would just feel so nice to like have someone put in the same energy as me, you know? Like, all the energy I put in, double that, you know? So it's not just me. Like, I'm not the one teaching her how to cook. I'm not the only one potty training her. But it's like, I want someone that is, in, is just as invested or more invested than me, you know? Like, I want someone to be like, no, you cannot poop in your pull-up. Like, we gotta watch her. You know, like, someone that's, like, as attentive and, like, assertive with her as I am with her. But that's not the case right now, so in my dreams right so i'm going to so with that food with that chicken it comes with the sweet and sour pouch pouch you gotta warm it up so i'm gonna warm up a cup of water to like for four minutes to get it boiling and then i'm gonna place um the pouch in there so this is the water and now i'm gonna put it in the oven the oven oh my god the microwave I really hope this chicken is good. I got um, the sweet and sour, which I'm making, and I got the general sows. So that's how you pronounce it. And I kind of want a general sows, but that was the first one I grabbed, so whatever. Mmm. You're touching, baby. Don't touch these, okay? No touch. No, 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 we're not going to play on here. You got to get down. You don't play on the stove. Mm hmm Play with your baby on the table. Come on, let's go over here and play with your toys. I'm just hungry. Oh shoot, there's two more minutes on the chicken. 
I guess when you're annoyed, 15 minutes goes by really fast. You want fruit? You want a piece of fruit? This is like honeydew. Hey, Max. <laughs> they're on this, her in this chair. <laughs> These are her, this chair is her legs. <laughs> Trying to reach everything with that damn chair. Uh, mm. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, we're not playing with water. We're going to eat and take a nap. I start to do so. So let's let that water boil. And then I'm just going to. I guess when the water boils, I could put it in here. No, we're not getting on the stove. You gotta stay away from the stove. You can't be getting comfortable by the stove, girl. So I'm gonna pour the water in here, the boiling water, and then place that pouch in there so that it can like warm up evenly. It says in here to place chicken directly from the, I'm just making up words, it does not say directly. It says place chicken from the oven onto a warm skillet on medium low heat onto a warm skillet on medium low heat pour sauce over the see i'm not going to do all that i don't even like that much sauce on my chicken so i'm going to make sure the water's the sauce is hot the chicken should be hot obviously let's check it out it looks burnt guys it does not look good i'm just hopefully it'll taste better with the sauce taste i don't even know what it tastes like but it just doesn't look like it looks like dry water's boiling all right that's a little dramatic okay i should turn it off i don't know it's like so like soothing to watch it boil but okay it's not that serious okay let me go ahead and grab it and i'm gonna pour it in here pour slowly very hot, y'all. Just what, rinsing off the bag. I just don't like crumbs, y'all. Crumbs is like just are like weird to me. Alright. I feel like I should put this over it. I'm gonna leave that for like a few minutes. How's the rice doing? Let's get in there. Max. Oh my gosh. So it's getting there. I think in the next five minutes it should be boiling. So I'm gonna come back in five minutes, show you how the rice is doing, and show you how the sauce is doing. And hopefully the chicken will stay hot enough. There we go. Okay guys, so the water was like boiling out and like falling into the eye and like burning. So I opened the lid a little, but we're still going to try the same thing. So I'm going to give it like two minutes because... I don't know. It looks like it's like getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the mix. It looks like it's dried up. Right I'm gonna turn it down to two. I have a feeling that none of this shit is going to come out good. Can you fucking make rice? It's so fucking annoying. Maybe I just I wish I had money to go eat out. <laughs> so that way, like, my livelihood 
It's dependent on if the fucking food comes out good. But it didn't even look like it was ready. I'll just eat the chicken by itself at this point. Okay. Let's see, it looks like it's still frozen. The sauce is still a little cold. Alright, the sauce needs a little bit more time. I'm just gonna start taking this chicken out. I'm so annoyed, guys. Sorry. I don't know how to hide it. Dude, look at this chicken, it looks fucking burnt. I don't know. I think I put too much rice. Maybe that's what I did. I put three cups. I feel like maybe I should have did two. There's a, one day my rice comes out good and the other day I do it exactly the same and it fucking comes out terrible. I literally do not know how to cook. I'm actually going to put these chickens in a bowl so I can toss it. The sauce isn't ready. Should I put the sauce in the microwave? Should be good. Okay, hold on. Mama can't cook? Cause yeah, I know. So you're gonna eat this chicken by itself? Maybe it's better this way because I feel like she eats like too much starch and not enough chicken. I'm gonna give her these little two pieces of chicken. Cause I doubt she's gonna like it. Mm -hmm. This sauce tastes weird. Mm. 
put your cheeseburger with rice. This definitely don't taste like takeout. Like, I just feel like this shit's like clickbait. The chicken is not light like in the picture. And I've never tasted a sweet and sour sauce like this before. You like it? It's not too easy to do it. I'm not just spitting it out. She spit out the entire chicken. I forgot she has leftover pizza from Olive Garden. So I'll make that for her when she wakes up from her nap. guys um one second serving myself some rice so annoying bro look how the rice came out i think i put too much water still fucking hard a little We got it guys. How's being a parent for you guys? If you guys like to cook for your kids or do you prefer to eat out? Let me know in the comments. I like to cook. When I'm not rushed or like. Rushed teaching. Um, hungry. For a while I was actually marinating my food overnight. And then cooking it. But that didn't turn out. I just really don't know how to cook to be honest. I used to watch this show called Million Dollar Listing. And I was like this little rich family. And they were, I don't know what they were talking about, but they ended up saying like, oh, we eat out every night. <laughs> like, <laughs> she don't, the wife don't cook. And I'm like, must be nice. Like, I feel like the only time you would complain about eating out is if you can't afford it. But if you can afford it, why would you want to cook? There are a lot of downfalls to cooking. I mean, eating out. Because depending on where you go, it's like, you don't, you don't know if they're practice like good hygiene and stuff. You don't know what kind of bad energy they have. But, 
I think the pros outweigh the cons because bitch you get good food and you didn't have to cook it. It's guaranteed to be good. There's a 99% chance that you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I guess it just depresses me because it's like I have the option to eat out, but I just can't afford it. And so I feel like if everyone just had to eat at home, I wouldn't feel so bad. Yeah. The spoon fell. Can get another spoon? So it's like, damn, bitches are out here living better than me, and I'm here struggling. My baby likes the rice, though, I guess. more rice more I feel like I could cook this better like I was just saying I just need like the time I'm like I want to make sure I have all the ingredients like I really want to get a thermometer like a food thermometer because I want to make sure my oil is like perfect I just really want to follow instructions to the tea and especially when I fry shit I feel like my oil is always too hot I don't know it's just never so before I say I don't know how to cook I can what I'm trying to say is I don't know how to follow instructions correctly. And so if I can just think clearly and follow a recipe how it says, have everything I need, no interruptions, I think I could like make shit, make it good.
But what I did like about this brand is this brand. It said it has one gram of sugar or less than one gram. So that's good if you don't like too much sugar. Mm. My baby is not eating the chicken. She's fucking up the rice though. Honestly. You wanna lay down? Drink, drink some water, baby. You wanna take off your boots? Alright guys, it's time for my baby's nap. Take off your boots. All right, guys. I'm gonna go get it. Go ahead and put my baby to bed. I have a lot of things to do. Hold on. I gotta work on my blog. I gotta edit a video. I need to do some things on Pinterest, like edit my boards. So no nap for me today. I try to get a nap in sometimes, but. Honestly, I really don't care. It kind of throws me off. I can't believe I'm a mom, y'all. Crazy. Like, I'm a real ass mom. Like, I don't want anything to ever happen to my baby. And it's like the feeling or the thought of something happening to my baby just like makes me cringe. Like, it does something just doesn't settle right with me. And it's like, dang, I'm a real mom. Like, like animal mode. <laughs> like, protecting my cub type shit. Like, I even punched her dad in the face one time for making her cry. I'm like, I don't fuck with nobody that's with my baby. <laughs> even if you help me make her. <laughs> but, yeah, I like being a mom, but it's a lot of responsibility. So if you have kids or don't have kids or want more kids, You gotta be prepared. And you gotta be an entrepreneur because imagine she already drives me crazy. I can only imagine how much crazy she'd drive me if she was like in daycare school. But I feel like when your baby's in daycare school, you just kind of like lose track of them and their milestones. It's like even though she gets on my nerves. I'm more patient because like I'm, I see the milestones. I, I'm aware of them. I see the progress. I see where she's lacking. So it's like all those things make me more empathetic. 
reverse of you just send your baby off to school and then they come back one day just talking a whole bunch of shit. You're like, what the fuck did you learn this from? And I just want her to learn from me. I don't want her to learn about life from like her little, her little friends whose also parents aren't really involved in their lives. Or from a teacher that's just there because she needs to fucking pay her bills. So, even though we don't have the greatest relationship, me and Max, we have a very good, healthy relationship. We get on each other's nerves, but like everything is with love and patience. I mean, it comes from a good place, like I'm her mom. I want her to be like me, so how can I want her to be like me or take traits of mine if she's not around me? Like, one of the main things I want her to take from me is to be an entrepreneur, be kind, respectful, mm, patient, empathetic, clean. If there's one thing she takes from me is that she's going to know how to clean. You know about organization. Just like be me, basically. <laughs> like, I want, like, that's why she's my best friend because, like, she does shit the way I'd want. I'd do shit. I'm talking too much.